So this is a partnership straight from the Jasmine Global Medium, okay? And it mentions this, and I'm going to go ahead and full screen this. Jankshin and C2E signed a strategic partnership, MOU, to expand between Japanese and Korean markets. Okay, what stands out in regards to this? It's just uh, another thing to talk about. Well, it's more than just something to talk about, guys. As you can see here, we know that Jasmine is behind, of course, Jankshin. It is the Layer 2 solution for Jasmine, specialized in data utilization. We know that Hara is the head guy in regards to that, okay? But there is this whole thing of this partnership with this thing called Chain with Limited, okay? Um, which is basically, I, can't, I think it's called, what is it, C2, yeah, C2E, okay? So C2E, anonymous bulletin board with 4 million users in Korea. People point out this is how we get an extra 4 million PDL uh, users, right? And I'm not complaining about that at all. Why would I, right? This, in my opinion, once this is done, this is utility in motion, but not yet. We always have to get to these things first. So CTUE, guys, is a project that explores new possibilities for what's referred to as X2E model. I won't get into a deep dive about that tonight because I already got into too many specifics and technicals tonight to begin with. But it's a community to earn model. Listen to that, guys, that offers rewards for community activities within its own active message board community. Wow. All right. Let's talk about this for a second. Did you see my latest video over the weekend? If you haven't, you want to take a look at that. Why? The graph came out with what is referred to as the sunrise upgrade. Do we, if you watch that video or listen to it way, you know, on your way home for work or wherever you're doing, you will understand why that is so important because the graph has that same model and the graph just came out with that. And now Jasmine just came out with this. Understand that we do compete with other particular blockchains, right? Uh, whether we like it or not. I hold both the Graph and Jasmine, but I do think it's more than a coincidence. It's how these guys strategically align themselves. Now, like I've mentioned before, the Graph has different use cases, but again, adding some of the aspects of a Jasmine to its, um, you know, grocery list of utility is a good positive thing. And at the same time, I like jasmine's response even though it's probably will never be publicly mentioned that this is a response to the graph or it might not even matter because at the end of the day it might just be coincidence but i thought i'd throw that out there okay so with that said let's get more into this part you will see here that you do get these rewards and c2e's flagship the product is the C2E wallet. Ah, things are getting interesting. What happens when Jasmine gets their super wallet? Well, look what it says. It's a reward wallet that makes it extremely easy for Web 2 and 3.0 users to receive and spend their rewards. In Korea, C2E already operates. Uh, interesting. Within a, with a total of 4 million users. What happens when you have a flip of the switch with the PDL for 4 million users? This is where... Jasmine, like I pointed out before, will have its own version of the flip of the switch. Again, if you're brand new to the channel, you want to learn about this stuff, research is posted in the video section. Look at the thumbnail that literally shows Jasmine and a flip of the switch. Okay? If you want to know more about that. Because when we talk about price shock, these are the examples that we're talking about. Okay? It's not, what if we get the utility? The utility is already there. It's implementing the utility it's literally accessing people that are already there through strategic partnerships this is a strategic partnership getting a little bit more into this and why i want to explain it to you tonight everybody is because as we know Jankshin is a layer two and it's basically providing accurate and traceable data input protects personal information and privacy course for SMEs. What are SMEs? Small and medium enterprises, okay? And other companies developing products that utilize generative AI. Furthermore, by providing 
distributed GPUs, a computing resource that is expected to be exhausted in the future. Remember how we did that outline in regards to NVIDIA? Again, go to the recorded section. All the research is there. There's no fluff on this channel, just deep dive content. We provide the support, the development of generative AI products in terms of quality, improvement, cost reduction, seamless deployment, all that good stuff. I love this statement before I kick it into the last part to wrap it up. Guys, look at this. Special features such as what? Here's your utility, the main utility, Jasmine's personal data locker. And like it says, world's first blockchain PC enables device management and productivity at the same time in its incubation project for the Jasmine from Japan. Wow. What's the goal? Guys, come on, listen to this. What's the goal? The goal is through Junction to have this collaboration with CTUE for a common goal of quote unquote mass adoption of blockchain tech through technical development. Wow. That's what I want to see. And that's why I want to deliver it to you guys tonight because I want you guys to understand the bigger picture. We are are all hungry for this thing to blast off. I get it, guys. Stay the course. Understand there is a bigger picture, right? For people that don't understand this stuff, it's no knock on you, but there's a difference between what you see in front of you in regards to price and what you're going to see for the future of being a long-term investor, obviously. Are you paper-handing Jasmine or are you trying to build generational wealth? In conclusion, in regards to what was presented in regards to this latest partnership, I want to state this. As we know, the company behind Layer 2 Blockchain, Junction, specializes in what? Data utilization. They're headed up by Hara. They have agreed with the strategic partnership with Chain with Limited, that's what's called C2E, um, to basically do what? provide these benefits for Jasmine and other things in regards to AI. But the point is an increased user base. Again, guys, don't get it twisted. C2E's existing user base of 4 million in Korea can be introduced to Jasmine's tech through this partnership. That is a little bit of a flip of the switch. Yeah, we want to get the 100 plus million. I get it, guys. But what happens when you start seeing more and more examples of utility in motion? As the saying goes, you expand out the ecosystem. An AI ecosystem with Deepin? Oh my goodness. So mass adoption, like we talked about before, both companies aim to achieve quote unquote mass adoption of blockchain tech through this collaboration, potentially expanding Jasmine's reach. Again, the reach. And this is just what? Part of Asia? What happens when we get global reach? Will you stick around for when it goes global? Or are you only going to stick around to when it goes to 50 cents, a dollar, and so on? Again, I understand everybody has different things they've got to do. you got to answer to different people in your family, wherever the case be. I don't know. We're all different ages, you know? You know, some of us maybe have limited time here. Hey, I totally get it. But the other thing I want to get into, point three, I should say, Reduce entry barriers for Web2 users. Yeah, we're still talking about Web2 because we're not at fully at the area of Web3 yet. The partnership might lead to developments that make it easier for Web2 users to, to transition to Web3 using Jasmine's Junction blockchain. Again, back to the all examples from Swift. And I understand it. You know, maybe Jasmine's never talked to Swift ever. But you do like the idea that we saw those references. You know, you could appreciate that. Wow. So what about new revenue opportunities? Because to me, new revenue opportunities say people will invest in this. People will use the tech. Isn't that the whole point? You better believe it. So the collaboration, this new partnership in itself, could create projects where users in Japan and Korea can benefit financially through applications built on Jasmine's tech. How so? Free rewards. Doesn't that reward that we gave an example of sound literally like the model that they mentioned with the DD coin? Oh, yes, it does. And why is that so important? And why is that so profound? Because 
We can't have tunnel vision. We can't have this attitude that it's just the DD coin and that's all there is to it. This is one of the best examples and the most bullish ones lately for Jasmine because now you have another example and you have another strategic partnership that is basically using the same concept that was originally introduced in what guys the white paper what happens when we get more and more examples and what happens when we get more and more of this not just in korea and not just in japan but like i said other areas of the world know what you have know why you hold it the research trumps fud guys 110 percent some of you guys ask what cold storage solution i use I use this, and it is the Decent Wallet, all right? I also, of course, have a ledger uh, like this, all right? You can get a discount, basically, from going into the affiliate link, which is in all the live video descriptions and recorded and so on. And for the Yahoos that are out there, they're like, this is just a shield. And, you know, we'll fix point this out. And it's a great point. Were you aware that you don't necessarily get a discount link just going straight to the site? No, you actually have to go through a platform like this. So how cool is that? You know, I don't think anybody's complaining about that. But anyway, use the link, get a discount. There's another one here. If you're the type of person you want to get one for your, you and your, you know, significant other, uh, you can get two of them. They, have a, they actually have another promotion, which is this. And I think this is cool. You can get an all-in-one card wallet plus backup card package. Interesting. I thought that was cool. And again, one of the main key things I like about the Decent Wallet is not having to do the, the red tape of, you know, jumping through all the hoops for XDC and the custom folder. I mean, Edward Vincent can vouch on that. Some of you guys can too as well in regards to Ledger. That was a pain in the butt. You don't have that problem. You literally open up your phone it's on your app track everything that's going on right and you know same goes not your keys not your crypto you know the drill check it all out though if you wish to do so it is truly the cold storage solution that i use for the most part there's still some on ledger that you know i kind of split it up on it and so on so it is what it is but if i have preference over one i'm going with this one a lot easier to use and so on and some people even to this day still ask me which one to use. Yeah.